this is <clears throat> this is probably the easiest and the smallest program for video compression you can do a variety of other things with it um, you know adjusting the light and contrast and so forth as well as uh, <clears throat> you know clipping it to size and so on so I'll, I'll show you some of those things but this is probably the easiest program and the smallest program and um, you can download it from this site which is www squared5.com and so that's the website go there and select your system whether it's Windows or Mac the program is available for both Windows and Mac and you select that and download it uh, from here so that's for for Windows or for Mac whichever is your operating system download it and install it. it takes only a minute now that it's installed let's take for example this file which is 611 MB and I want to uh, perhaps crop it I certainly want to make it smaller and I want to compress it so you open this file right click on your file and I do have handbrake as well but here's my program mpg stream clip so right click and then select that left click and there is your file it opens it opens in that program another way to download your file is just go into file open files select your file from there and and that will open it up there too now that it's opened we will go to file and go down here export to mpg4 so click on that and that opens this window now you see the unscaled that's the original size of that video 1920 1080 and that, that's the original size and it's a good idea to cut that size that's that's really quite a big size and perhaps you know 640 480 or something of that nature is good that would be a good size so what we do is let's say I want to make it one-third of 1920 and 1080 I want to make it one-third of that so <clears throat> let me put it in my calculator and um, divided by 3 comes to 640 and so I'll put 640 here and uh, and the 1080 also divided by 3 comes to 360 so here I'm going to enter those numbers so whatever is the width if it is one-third of the original make sure the length is also one-third so you have to put those corresponding numbers it doesn't do it automatically you have to actually put them in and so here it is 640 380 that's a third of the size of the original and now once I've got that we'll go to the sound leave this as it is but for stereo change it to mono because sometimes it doesn't come out too good with the stereo and I change it to 128 bitrate so 128 is good for music 96 is pretty good for voice uh, but let's take 128 here now as far as compression is concerned there are two ways you can do it one is by using this slider and you can take it down to about 29 or 30 and then click on make mp4 and that'll do the job but somehow I don't like that the results are not so good so let me show you another way take this slider put it right up there 100 hundred percent but click on the limit data rate and here put in some numbers that is 611 MB I want to cut it down to around 30 35 MB you don't you know so about uh, so I let me put 400 here and see what size I'm getting 15 MB hmm 611 down to 15 not bad but I know I lose quality on that so let me increase the size a bit more and you sort of play around with those numbers 
till you're happy with the file size. So let's put another number, say 600. Now I get a file size, it'll be 21 MB. 650 will give me 22. And 700 will give me 24. That's not a bad size. See, I can send that through WhatsApp and it's not a bad size. 24 is good, I'll get pretty good quality as well. And now, um, we will select B frames. So click on B frames. You can also do a multi pass where it goes over and over the video several times to get the best compression. But that takes an awful long time. So, so as far as this multi pass is concerned, I generally leave it alone. So you can try. It generally takes a long time. So I I I don't take the I don't select that multi pass. So let's deselect it. But down here, I'm going to select frame blending, better downscaling. I select both those. And now these uh, videos that you take from your phone and so forth are interlaced. So you don't want to uh, do the interlacing. That's not necessary. And it doesn't make any difference to the size either. Now, there are several other things you can do. Uh, as we, uh, we we leave that alone and so we go down here you can crop your video you know bits on sides uh, whether you want to cut the sides or the top or bottom you can crop your video from here and uh, when you put in these numbers say you know 50 or 100 or whatever click on preview and see if that's good enough or you need to change that anymore So that takes care of the cropping. Now we'll go to some adjustments and look at the number of things you can do. You can brighten the video if it's been taken on a dull day or you can increase the contrast, the saturation, if the volume is too loud or too low. <clears throat> and you can also uh, select on automatic volume control a watermark on your video if you want to so th there are several other adjustments you can do to your video from here and the <clears throat> you can I think that's that's quite useful if you want to have an automatic control but we are not doing that so I'll just leave it alone for my video but just to show that there are several other things you can do from these controls and I'm going to cancel it, but if you select any of those, click on OK. And once we have done all that, then we will, then we will, oh, uh, you, can, you can do some adjustments of cropping your video from here too. You know, if you want to um, do some more adjustments, you can do it in that window as well. But... Um, uh, we are done with this here and now we'll go to make mp4 so click on that choose this choose the name it should be a different name than the original in case you want to change your mind and make some other changes or you're not happy with it so you don't want to replace the original and just give it another name click on save and there it starts it works and in a short time it will compress your video and the job's done.